defense was uh, really prepared to play. They'd been maligned a little bit, and <laughs> coaches pulled them together, and uh, certainly we were real pleased to see them perform well. Mistakes in the first quarter. This is the first mistake that uh, Florida made. Watch uh, Edmund Nelson strip this ball away to give Auburn the well, ball. Had a reverse. Ken Hardy missed him. Uh, we had a couple misses. Edmund Nelson created a fumble. And I'm not uh, sure who that recovered the football that field. I uh, didn't get it, Coach. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that was a great, uh, that was a great play. Anyhow, we weren't fooled by the play, but we come right back, and Florida gives us a bad play. I don't know how the ball got away from. Uh, Charlie Trotman there, we had the counter option, we had penetration, and it was just a game of errors there to begin with. Neither team uh, wanted to take advantage. We had a good drive going and got a penalty. This is good coverage down here. There's Johnny Cheeks, young freshman from Gainesville, Georgia, covering the punt on our uh, Comanche punt coverage team. So, Auburn's going to get something out of this one. First and ten, that's James Brooks running with it. 11 yards to the Florida Six. Brooks and Cribs did not have the great day yesterday, but attribute some of that to a fine defensive unit out of Florida. I certainly think so. Now one thing that we didn't do well is we got down here and uh, we were stopped there with a corner pressure. Go ahead and stick the run. Charlie Thomas would have gotten in there, but he didn't. That was a big play for Florida. A little uh, demoralizing, I guess, for our group early in the in the game to not get in the end zone. Florida comes right back uh, throwing the football. They were alternating in quarterbacks. Here comes the interception. Got some pressure there. On the post route, that's Ken Luke, Jr. from Murphy High School in Mobile, Alabama. Makes a good return here. I'd hoped he'd get on in the end zone, but that's a great interception. We, we kind of faked the coverage and got in the three deep, and Ken was sitting there waiting on that post route in the middle. Okay, Ed Dubose gets it down close to the goal line with a good tough run inside. They asked for the fumble here, but it was ruled down. Second and goal at the one. I think so. We're just pick up his 12th touchdown of the year. He's the leading scorer in the SEC and fourth in the nation. There he goes in. We'll show the replay on that and show some of the blocking up inside on the play. That guy right there is a fine linebacker. Little is. He's one of the better linebackers you'll see in our conference. There's a good block there by Foster Christie. And Brooks, new bowls to get it. As they did so often after an Auburn score, they're going to come back now and put something together. That's Oshab, who's been pressed into service. He's the throwing quarterback. And to his favorite receiver, Chris Collinsworth, who had six catches. Getting to the football. Quick Auburn turnover, com quick turnover coming, an opportunity for Auburn right here. James McKinney is about to make a fine uh, reception right here. You saw earlier. James McKinney looked like uh, covered his man. They were trying to go to the back out of the backfield. And he, he recognized it, got up in the air, and made a great interception. On the turnover, Auburn at the Florida 40. Charlie Trotman down the line, but he can't turn the corner. Oh, we're just not quite making the block, and, and it's everybody there. We're close, but but uh, no cigars. We're just just missing. Right there, you see uh, James Brooks, good hard running, good hard tackle on the corner. Making most of that on his own. Brooks again on third down here, but he can't quite well, get the first. With a quarterback, we didn't have a chance. We thought we'd run the option to the short side. Now here is a, is a heck of a kick by George Patella. Tell you what, that was over 50 yards. He really hit that thing nicely. I think it gave us a big boost there to begin the second half. 34 at this point. George Patella is now the all-time career field goal kicker in the Southeastern Conference. Florida comes back on the next series. Get something going. That's third and seven with Oshab to Faulkner there. Now the big gainer coming, going to the fleet Chris Collinsworth. He's an exciting Chris receiver. Collinsworth is a, is a great player and a great competitor. Uh, we got Johnny Green turned around. He lost the right time, intercepted that penetration, and and stopping the veer lane. And Frank Warren helping out. Now it's second and goal at the 12. They're going to sprint out around the short side. And we're getting a lot of people around the football. I believe Zach tripped him up there. Third and goal at the 8. Now he's looking for Chris Collinsworth in the end zone. He's covered. Now watch uh, Darrell Wilkes come out and make a play. Darrell Wilkes saved the touchdown there. It was excellent. Uh, Wilkes had his receiver covered. Uh, Darrell's a freshman from all around Phoenix City. He's come in and really played some good football for us. So rather than the go-ahead touchdown, they have to settle for the deal in the third quarter. Auburn begins deep in the hole here after nine and three. Watch this play. Well, we, we've been throwing the out a lot in this situation, and Charlie faked it out to Byron Franklin and uh, he ran the takeoff route, and certainly it was, uh, the ball was thrown a little short. We had him out there in the open. He made a sure catch, and it was a big game and a big play for us. Okay, we see it again now. Charlie Trotman throwing to Byron Franklin, and... Uh, 
It was really an outstanding day for Charlie. He was 7 of 11 for 108 yards and a touchdown. Coach, one of the, one of the keys to victory. Excellent passing. He's really been throwing the ball well the last few weeks. And uh, if I had uh, one criticism of myself, uh, certainly it certainly would be that we should have thrown some more early in the game. So, Auburn can't move, and they have to settle for the field goal, but uh, the little man puts her through there again, and that uh, moves Auburn out with 3.54 to go in the third to uh, a 13-6 to lead, a touchdown lead now. The Auburn defense won't let the Gators move, so Amos is punting, and that's Cribs making the fair catch. The resulting penalty there gives Auburn the ball at their 45. I don't know why they were pointing at us. Was one of the, I believe this is, uh, that's it. was the time here, which is one of the cardinal uh, sins. In, in the kicking game, we come with a misdirection option. They, they really played that well. The end waited. And Second goal now. TD coming. Great play here. It's an excellent throw, an excellent fake, and an excellent catch. There's Mike Locklear, senior tight end from Fort Payne. And the way Mike jumped there, you wouldn't think his shoulder would hurt at all, would That's you? Right. That's Auburn's, uh, Trotman's sixth touchdown pass of the season. Coach, he's, he's throwing the ball much better in the last four or five games. Well, I think he's. Uh, Developed his confidence. Uh, of course, his arm is good. He hasn't been running as much, and maybe that's, uh, that's helped him. Plus, I like the fact that Charlie Thomas has come in and played a good bit. It, it has made uh, Charlie better. Florida comes right back. Oshab throwing for Williams this time. He's no good. Now it's second and 10 at the Florida 31. Oshab again going for Garrett. This crossing pattern you're about to see here was one of well, the it, problems. It bothered us some. It sure did. We're getting a little pressure on the passer, but he's coming in there behind our linebackers in front of our deep people, and uh, they completed that pass two or three times. We've got to do a better job. They hurt us right here on this play, and I thought the guy was going for a touchdown, and Freddie Smith just ran him down. That, that was supposed to be a 9-8 sprinter. Freddie caught him. It was certainly a big play. First and 10 at the 11-yard line now. Oshab going for Collinsworth. No good. It's covered by Bob Harris. But the touchdown is coming here on second and 10. Oshab for Faulkner as the Gators score. Well, we've got some pressure there. We're close to getting him. And we had man coverage. And our strong safety came up inside there a little bit. And the end made a fine play. So it's fourth quarter now. Auburn is leading by only six. Pressure now the rest of the way on the Auburn defense. Auburn begins at the 20. James Brooks comes out with 13 here. I thought moving out to field position here, Coach, was important too. Well, I, I thought our team showed a lot of poise here, Phil. We didn't play well most of the day, but uh, here we go. We come in here and when we had to have it, and we kind of sucked them up and, and came on out and made some first downs and ran the clock some and controlled the football some at this stage of the game. Motion penalty caused a misfire here. Auburn having to punt, and Johnston kicks it into a stiff win. That's uh, only a 26-yard kick, but against that 20, 25-mile-an-hour win, it was difficult. Five plays later, Gators fourth down. They made a fourth down, and then Oshab has it in the air at midfield. Uh, incomplete there. Second and 10 at the 48-yard line now. Look at the Auburn defense get after him. Well, he saw pressure there, and it kind of confused him some. I think their defense did an excellent job of mixing up our defenses and oh, getting some pressure on the pass. Throwing every down now. Good defense here. And so well, Auburn Johnny Green coming. had that ball, and uh, he played it excellently. Came in front of him and had it and uh, just dropped it. It was one of those near misses. So the Auburn defense holds him once, but there's still plenty of time remaining in the ball game. Well, it's a pressure situation here, Phil. I, I think our team needed this. Uh, you, know, you hate to say, well, this is, you hate to get them too close, but we hadn't had a close game in a while, I guess, since a week ago. <laughs> and we <laughs> needed one, but we needed to win one. There's some pressure on the passer. Uh, again, great play by Freddie Smith, a near interception. Had a lot of people around the football. 2.20 to go now, throwing on every down. Here he comes out with it again. There's an excellent catch by the Florida receiver. That's split in. Did a fine job again on the crossing pattern. He had people around him, but we, uh, he came up with a play. 147 left. He's completing the quick ones now, and the Auburn Tigers holding on, trying not to give him the big one. Run the clock. Here it comes. Well, here's a great play by freshman uh, Darrell Wilkes again. He's, he's going to be a, just a fine uh, player. He started the game, played a lot, and you notice he's Gave the ball to the proper guy there, the, <laughs> the official, official. <laughs> uh, which Good we're thinking. supposed to do. But uh, he's running right with Collinsworth, and he sees the ball. He doesn't lose the football, and he just on it, comes back on it, makes the interception at his highest point. Florida gets the ball back for one more 
uh, series after this, and uh, here I thought was a great play, Coach. Here's Gilbert Settlers throwing that ball right back there to Skip Johnston and getting that punt out of there under pressure. There's 20 seconds left. They, well, if they block a, it, it's a touchdown. That was a real good play. Now here's a, something that wasn't too good. The old Gilbert uh, <laughs> didn't see the fair catch signal. Of course, that's, uh, we gotta, we got to be able to do that. There's Marvin Williams pressuring. Get after him, Marvin. There you go. Great play. Didn't give up. So the Auburn defense turns back the Gators twice in the fourth quarter when they had to to preserve the sixth victory of the year for the Tigers. Uh, they are 6-2 they are now, ranked 20th.